Welcome to the Mastercam 2018 Lathe Video Training Series Tutorial 1. In this video, we will create the 2D CAD model used to generate the toolpaths from. We will only create the upper profile of the part. Only half of the geometry is needed to create the necessary toolpaths to machine the part. Geometry creation commands such as line endpoints, line parallel, rectangle, fillet entities, and trim will be used. Next, we will create the necessary toolpaths to machine the part. We will set up the stock size and the clamping method used. A facing toolpath will be created to remove material from the face of the part. A roughing toolpath will be created to remove the bulk of the material in preparation for a finished toolpath. Finally, a finished toolpath will be created to machine the leftover material from the roughing operation. Let's begin. First, refer to the Getting Started section to set up the graphical user interface. In this step, you will learn how to hide the manager panels to gain more space in the graphics window. First, select the View tab. From the Managers group, enable all four managers as shown. Toolpaths, Solids, Planes, and Levels. Disable Art. The panels will appear on the left side of the graphics window as shown. To hide all panels, Click on the Auto Hide icon as shown. This frees up more space in the graphics window. To unhide a panel temporarily, click on one of the managers to open it. In this step, we will create a rectangle given the width, height, and anchor position. Select the Wireframe tab, then select Rectangle. Enter the width as minus 5 and the height as 1.625. To select the position of the base point, from the General Selection toolbar, click on the drop down menu beside Auto Cursor as shown. From the Flyout menu, select Origin. To see the entire rectangle, right mouse click in the graphics window and select fit. You can also fit the geometry by pressing Alt F1. A preview of the geometry has appeared. Select the OK button to accept the rectangle and exit the command. Note that if you make a mistake while creating geometry for this tutorial, you can undo the last step by clicking this button. You can also click redo if you undid something by mistake. Next we are going to create lines parallel to existing lines given the distance between them. We are creating the lines to use as part of the geometry as well as construction lines. From the lines group select line parallel and select entity A as shown. Pick a point to the left of the selected line. Note that the geometry is still live and can be altered. From the Line Parallel panel, enter the distance of 1.375 and press Enter. To continue using the same command, select the OK and Create New Operation button. Select the new line and then a place to the left of the line. Enter the distance as 0 0.375 and press Enter. Select Entity A again and pick a point to the left. Enter the distance as 3.125 and press Enter. Next, select Entity C and pick a point to the right. Enter the distance as 1.25 and press Enter. Next, select this bottom line and pick a point above it. Enter the distance as 0.625 and press Enter. Enter. 
select the bottom line again, and pick a point above it. Enter the distance as 0.875 and press enter. Select this bottom line, pick a point above it, and enter the distance as 1.25 and press enter. Select the OK button to exit the command. And the geometry should appear as shown. Next, we will create line endpoints to create a line connected to the intersection point of two construction lines. From the Lines group, select Line Endpoints. Select the point at this intersection, and then select the point at this intersection. Your mouse icon will appear as it does on my screen. Then press the OK button to exit the command, and your geometry will appear as shown. In this step, we will use the Create Fillet command to simultaneously create a fillet and trim two entities. From the Modify group, select Fillet Entities. Enter a radius of 0.25 and make sure Trim Entities is checked. Select Entity A here, then select Entity B here. Select Entity C here, then select Entity D here. Press Enter to finish the fillet. Change the fillet radius to 0 0.0625. Select Entity E here, and select Entity F here and press the OK button to exit the command. Next, we will trim the geometry. This step shows you how to trim two entities using the Trim command. From the Modify group, select Trim Break Extend. Enable the Trim Two Entities option. Select the wireframe in the following order. Entity A, Entity B, Entity C, to entity D, Entity E to Entity C, Entity G to Entity F. In the Trim Break Extend panel, enable Divide Delete. Select Entity A and B as shown. Then select OK from the toolbar to exit the command. The part should appear as shown on my screen. If your part appears different, press the Undo button. Then, repeat the Trim Break Extend steps, making sure that you are selecting the entities in the correct order. Next, save the file. Go to File and select Save As. Name the file Your Name Tutorial 1 and select Save. 